Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. Welcome to it. We're very excited to be hanging out with Metro FM DJs Ishmael Abrams and uh, the lovely uh, Larato Kanyaho. <laughs> I want to ask you the Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful, the beautiful. The, do I say it right? Yeah, Kanyaho. Yes. Is it nice? Yeah. All right, listen, Sounds guys. Very Italian though, Kanyaho. Oh, you know what? I'm sure you've heard many versions before as well. But listen, <laughs> lovely to have you guys here. We're going to be catching up, and you're going to be sharing some of your secrets to success. But first, I want to know. You guys love movies, right? Into the whole movie yes. scene, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Jurassic World. What's your thoughts? Oh, it's going to be. Check is is uh, well that, that, That's going to be epic. It's, I can't okay. wait. To get to middle to the middle of the movie. To the why? When when the whole cage thing, that <laughs> dome kind of thing breaks, and oh, then it, it goes into the world, and yeah, and, and just let's see what happens. The reason why I'm asking is because you know what? With the release of the film, scientists in London have actually announced the discovery of red blood cells in a 75 million year old dinosaur fossil. Okay, so it's a it's a real deal. We could actually be seeing some real real dinosaurs. Oh, so okay. Jurassic Park, so Jurassic World it could come is not far off. Exactly. So literally, here's how it came about. The scientists were scanning eight poorly preserved dinosaur bones, all right, uh, from the Cretaceous period. I don't even know if I say that correctly. Um, with an electron microscope, when they dis discovered these red blood cells and also collagen, all right. So, so now they're thinking, you know, can they actually grow uh, real dinosaurs from this discovery? And they say they actually can if they find a live piece of genetic material from red blood cells, oh, then they could actually Can they just not could find maybe it? maybe Steven no. Spielberg have had this story way before when making the movie? Maybe he yeah. knew something. Yeah. Maybe he knew something. But, but, but there's a difference, you know, because they were also now, now going through this whole discovery. And, you know, they, 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 with this discovery, they'll be able to learn a little bit more about evolution, the diets, and, you know, everything about the dinosaurs. But they say that, you know, they don't necessarily need the DNA of, you know, the actual dinosaurs to make dinosaurs. All right, so. Why are we making dinosaurs? Because guys? It's, 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 everyone's talking about a Jurassic World. Can it be true? Everybody oh, would love to see a real can dinosaur. Can we just make makeup and stuff and hair and eyelashes? <laughs> and just and a not... little dinosaur in your pocket? No. no. <laughs> not even? I don't want a dinosaur. <laughs> Listen, because they said that rather hopelessly scraping through the bone fragments in search of those DNA, you know, they could turn to certain birds which are directly related oh. or descendants from dinosaurs and okay. they can meddle with their genetics. They can, you know, awake some genes and block certain and other genes. So basically a team at Yale University have already done that. They managed to transform the beak of a chicken embryo into something that oh. more resembles the snout of a dinosaur. That's there a real go. picture. More specifically, a velociraptor. Wow. Shit. Hey? That's very interesting. So, so would you guys be open to the fact that one day uh, we might see a real life dinosaur? Yeah. And could that <laughs> one day be the end of the human race? That's the question. That is the question. Ishmael Abrams and Lerato Ganyaho <laughs> joining us here. So a bit of a fun, <laughs> fun filled morning this morning. We're going to be chatting with them a little bit later on. But let us know, would you like to see real life dinosaurs walking planet Earth?